It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Yeah, um, sorry about that. We had some technical difficulties, a little internet issue. Yeah, internet um, went down twice right before, like literally within a minute of getting ready to start. It may still be down. Uh, it looks like, like we're literally good. within Ooh. a minute of getting ready to start. That's why you turn your phone on silent. Yeah. When you start. <laughs> things are, something's happening. Yeah. I see it moving. It's yeah. going. Things are going. Things... Yell, wave if you can hear us. I said that the other day. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let us know. Please keep us up to date because obviously we're having some internet issues. We've had some internet issues this week. Um, so please give us a shout if we are dropping frames, if you can't hear us, if you can't see us. I don't know. But it was perfect uh, all today. It was great up until streaming, just now. Streaming, Netflix, and everything. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, being a lazy bum on the couch, no problem streaming Netflix. Try trying to, to actually do something productive, do something there's productive. a problem. Yeah. Hmm, that's not going to work for us. So, <laughs> yeah, we're at the internet company. Yeah. They're not into it. So welcome to another uh, Sunday Live. We've um, got something interesting to start here with. Uh, and if you came here just for the, just for the reviews, timestamps down in a pinned comment below, but the first thing we're gonna start with actually isn't even a bourbon. I know it's the name of the show, oh but um, <laughs> I saw this the other day. I'm not feeling so hot today, so the idea of stomaching this is uh... Well, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> um, actually, I saw this, I think, probably on Instagram first, and then like just a couple days later, boom, screwball, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, there it was staring at me. A peanut butter whiskey. And if peanut you're butter. familiar with the channel, you know I have a certain penchant for nutty mm -hmm. whiskey. Um, and peanut butter, like we've, our first bottle of Noah's Mill, we said it was just like an exceptional peanut butter, peanut butter taste. So, yeah. so this is not bourbon, obviously. This is a whiskey. It's uh, 70 proof, so pretty low proof. Um, so several things that make this <laughs> not be a bourbon. Right. But... Here goes for a, a live unscrewing. Maybe. Am I gonna have to get the old lady thing? The old I, lady. I use it all the time. The grip. <laughs> yeah, the grip. But let's take one quick second while you pour that, Chad. Let's do a little triangle. For, uh, for? 28,000 subscribers. Hey, that's right. Edging yes. in on 30K, can and, you believe um, it? Yeah, I know, right? It's crazy. And to a successful event last night, we did a speaking event um, at the historic Rippy Mansion, mm -hmm. uh, the old Rippy House in Lawrenceburg, yeah. Kentucky. It was fun. It was hot. It was hot. It was it had great whiskey. Yeah. So they're restoring um, they're restoring the mansion back from uh, disrepair. I guess you could say. Yes, I, I guess. First floor is has the most progress. The others are like. Not, but, um, and I actually, we forgot to say this last night um, live to everybody, but all of the ticket proceeds go towards the house being restored. Yeah, which is cool. Yeah, like an um, 18, built in 1888, um, you know, Rippy, you know, the old Rippy that they brought back. Yeah. Um, Wild Turkey, or Campari, From I should From the Whiskey say. Barons Yeah, series. yeah, yeah. So that's, that's, that's the Rippy. That's the place, so. Um, yeah, Pretty and cool. shout out to Swan and Trev Wilson, who I believe are both in the chat. Yes, they are. There they are. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for helping us out. We appreciate it. Had so much fun. Yeah. Oh, um, speaking of that, speaking of the shout outs, and I guess we could do... Oh, yeah, we're supposed to do a shout out. We can do sample shout outs. Yeah, it's like we've never done a live before. <laughs> it's tough. We're having we, a rough day. Just off our game with the uh, internet, knock on wood. Hmm. <sighs> Gosh. Uh, shout out to Jamie, and I had to I had to write it down because I told him I would. You did say that. I would forget it. Uh, saw him at a place called Bourbon on Rye, and in, uh, in Lexington. Oh yeah, hey Jamie, what's up? So hey to Jamie, um, hey to Brian Booth. Yeah, we ran into we there. Quite an evening, well, yeah. quite an unplanned evening last night. It was that fun. has led to uh, some not so good feelings today. Ah, uh, we'll be fine. Oh, we'll be fine. <laughs> My body, maybe not, but nah. uh, it's just a body. Come on. Um, and then while we're shouting out, shout out um, to a uh, sample, shout out here from Gene. Ah, from Gene. Yeah. So yeah. Gene sent us uh, four different whiskeys. We have a six year Tennessee rye whiskey, it's 115 and a half proof. We have Essence of Iowa. Ooh, interesting. For yeah. all you Iowans out there, Iowans. you know we got some Iowans in we the chat. We definitely got some Iowans. Um, this is some MGP source juice. This is Obtanium. It's not unobtainium. You can obtain, it says obtainium. You can obtain it. 
because we obtained it. <laughs> Obtainium, light whiskey, MGP source, 11 and a half years, 137 proof. What? Although it doesn't look. It does 137 not. 137 proof. Huh. And then and what else? you what? pronounce that because I'm not so good with the pronunciations. Krupnik? Krupnik. Krupnik. Polish li liqueur. Polish liqueur, 76 proof. Look at that. Look at that. That is light. I am intrigued. Ooh, it's yeah. got some swirly things going on. There's something happening <laughs> There's in there. There's some stuff going on. Look at Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see the swirls. Ooh, but no. <laughs> no, probably not. That's crazy. So um, thanks to Jean. Ooh, yes. Thank you very much. We'll try those one day, and we'll probably, uh, it says to email them for more info. We'll probably give them a shout, get some more info on this stuff when we decide to uh, do, it on, do it on the live. Yes. All this right. <clears throat> is nutty in yeah. a very unusual way. Oh. This is like extra desserty. Buttered popcorn's the first thing I got. It's like buttered popcorn and peanut butter pie or something like that. Definitely dessert nutty. Yeah. Like <laughs> sugary dessert nutty. Very Maybe a, desserty. A payday bar. This smells like a payday bar. Yeah. Whoa. I mean, it smells like a candle. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it smells like I could just like dip my fork into something and eat it. Yeah. And it's not, that's not what's happening in this glass right now. Huh. Oh, Jeff Wimbush is on his way to Kentucky in a few weeks. Oh, nice. Yeah. We welcome you. <sighs> yes, we are the ambassadors of Kentucky. No, we're not. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. All right, so again, screwball, 70 proof. Uh, it says to the misfits, black sheep, and screwballs. Whiskey with natural flavors and caramel color. Ooh, see for me the caramel coloring. Mm. Oh, and on the back it says. I'm a not not a fan of the caramel coloring. Contains peanuts. Right. <laughs> not just caramel coloring and whiskey, like caramel coloring and anything. Don't Google it if you like things with caramel coloring. Oh right, 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 right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> or do I don't know. Or do. Gosh. Live your no, life. I, I wish you had told me that. <laughs> All right. Whoa. It's Whoa. It's just like, yeah, like peanut butter pie. It is. I mean, it pie. tastes like peanut butter pie. It does. It is liquid peanut butter pie. There is no doubt. It does not taste like whiskey. It does not. It just tastes like liquid peanut butter pie. Liquid peanut butter pie. Can you say it again? Liquid peanut butter pie. Uh, Whoa. Yeah, that is um, sweet. That is, I would put this in like if I were making a sauce for a dessert. I mean, if I were going to use this, that's probably what I would use it for. Uh, now that I know it has caramel color. <laughs> I don't know. Well, to be fair. Is peanut butter pie a thing? <gasps> yeah, peanut butter pie is a thing. I mean, if you like mom, peanut butter, then you're living. My mom makes a great peanut butter pie. You know my mom is a good. I do know your mom. <laughs> yes. We've oh, met. Oh, you know my mom? <laughs> We've met. Um, is a great dessert maker. And well, just great all around As cook. As in baker? <laughs> Busting my chops. I know. I'm Jose, sorry. sugar pop corn, corn nutty. nutty. Yes. Thanks, oh, popcorn. Jose. <laughs> sugar pop corn, corn nutty. nutty. Uh, don't open dead inside. <laughs> Anyone get that? Yeah. Um, yeah. You should look up a good peanut butter pie recipe. Uh, it's like kind of rich and silky, and it's usually got a chocolate layer in there somewhere, and you know, it's like peanut buttery. I mean, like a mousse. I feel almost. like you know those like really. Tiny, I don't think we have any here. Um, the like, even smaller, pardon me. Hello. This is, uh, oh, this is a uh, Scotch Test Dummies uh, little shot glass. Um, I think these are still still for sale. Yeah. You guys just last year in Austin. Oh very, yeah. Very nice I so, love those little glasses. So even like smaller than this, but just one of those things where like after dinner, a uh, debutante or, you know, um, someone would be just like, Oof. You know, it's like, because that's really all you need. You don't, you don't need much This is a dessert of liqueur. No, yeah, you do sure. not need much of this. What's the proof on this? Mm. Uh, 70. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Which is like not bad for a, a liqueur, I guess, if you consider it that. But they don't consider it a liqueur. They consider it a peanut butter whiskey. So for many reasons, it could never be considered bourbon. Let's put this in a peanut butter pie. Sean had a good idea. Drunken peanut butter pie coming soon, question mark. Don't sign me up for things. <laughs> Maybe. I'll work on it. I'll think about it. I need to hone my peanut butter pie skills. 
So yeah, I think this I bottle. I don't know if I can drink more. This bottle is no, <laughs> uh, is going towards the kitchen. It's I think it's going to be allocated for like cooking, baking, stuff like that. Yeah. Might try it in the cocktail. You could totally get people to take shots of this really easily though. It's like it doesn't taste bad. Yeah. It just doesn't taste like something that I want to get drunk off of. Oh, I could see a hangover. I wonder if there's sugar added. Hmm. Wowzers. Wowzers. HT guys, just found you guys. Bought some glasses too. Cheers. Oh, thank well, you. Cheers to you. Thank you for the purchase. Thank you for that. HT guys. We like it. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's so sweet. Yeah, that's probably that's probably it for me. I, I, I can't. I mean, like it, it, this has to go in something. It could be like a nice thing in a cocktail with like a half ounce of this with some stronger whiskey. Yeah. Would be nice if you were making something in the peanut buttery realm. I like it. Um, Chad's upcoming peanut butter cocktail that he's going to make. Yeah, we could do that. Possibly. Um, um, and then the pie. Uh, where did I see it? Oh, Patrick intriguing. says Mirror Twin, which is a brewery. Here has an excellent peanut, peanut butter, butter beer. Yeah. Didn't know that. Well, I mean, people make like chocolate stouts and yeah. things like that. So why not a peanut butter one? Why not? Right? Excuse me for one second. I feel like this is not. Exceptional mouthfeel. I'm going to vote no. I'm going to say no gonna on give the it a no. exceptional mouthfeel. <laughs> <sighs> I'm glad that we tried this because, you know, we have like a soft spot for all things nutty. But Well, I couldn't not. You could not. He's like, I, he was like, I'm at. Liquor barn, and I picked this up, and I'm like, why? He was like, I could not. It's yeah. nutty. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like people would be dis know. disappointed in me if I didn't pick this up. So I guess the official review. So this was like twenty five dollars, maybe, maybe even twenty nine. I can't remember. That seems um, like a lot. Not worth it. I will find something to do with it, but I yeah. don't know that I would ever pick another one up. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna require. Sorry, screwball. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. Uh, Oh, that guy wants you to have his babies. Oh, um, well, that's nice. <laughs> I think I, you know, got to fulfill this one first, but. Hey. <laughs> so I guess this requires some experimentation, you know, which is usually what college is for. But uh, this is going to for like cocktails and baking and so yes, forth. Yes. And get it out of my face. <sighs> I see a couple ladies in here today. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Where are the ladies at? Where are the ladies at? They're in the chat. Well, it's ladies night. I just decided. I mean, I love it when everyone's in the chat, but I don't feel like we get not as much interaction, so that's nice. <clears throat> um, so this, sorry, my brain paused for a second. Um, this is something that I tried at a little whiskey festival in Chicago in January, and I actually met the guys um, with Union Horse, the guy that I met uh, who invited me and so kindly gave me tickets last minute. His name was Wilson and he works for them. Um, and he let me try this and he brought samples and everything. It was so nice uh, and let me try this and it wasn't gonna be out until like April or something. Mm -hmm. And we just got this about a month ago or so uh, and he shipped it to us for free. Very, very kindly very to kindly, review yeah. and sample. Um, yeah. well, I, We'll call that an uncorking. I had already sipped it because I was so excited when I had it in Chicago. I liked it a lot, and I remember love, like really, really liking it and wanting to get back into it. And we had to wait a few weeks for different live themes or whatnot. Sure, but, yeah. Um, it's fairly young, but the thing that excites me the most about it is that it's probably the youngest, not the youngest. Um, I'm trying to think of a good way to say this. While it's young, you. You can't tell, it, I don't think. It shows a lot of promise. It really holds up. Yeah. yeah, it shows a lot of promise, and that makes me happy, um, especially when you see people doing things the right way, doing it themselves, and then... <laughs> What's that now? Ian, that bourbon guy, still wearing my ripped shirt. Oh, <laughs> Ian. May the force be with you. We need to talk about what happened. A dog. Oh, a dog? Yeah. Oh, well, you can't be mad. Yeah, exactly. Thank Cheers, you. Ian. And golf whiskey. And golf... Whiskey. Mrs. Golf Whiskey. Mrs. Says golf Whiskey hi. says hi. Well, well there hello, we go. Mrs. Golf Whiskey. So you took his name, <laughs> Golf Whiskey. <laughs> Thanks for being cool and letting your husband hang out in the chat <laughs> every week. We appreciate it. To all those ladies out there. There you go. So what pertinence do we have on this? So it's 92 proof. Uh, this is the Distiller series. It's a Midwestern four grain whiskey. That's right. It was a four grain. That was the other thing. Yeah. 
uh, Union Horse Distilling Company. It's called Rolling Standard. Well, we got a couple more super chats. we got super some chats. super chats here. Uh, Bag of Donuts 78 says, Greeting from Chicago Burbs. <laughs> Greetings to you. And Donald Payne says, Whiskey Watches saying hello. Oh, hey. Remember oh, from, yeah. Uh, yeah, hey, what's up? Very nice. Love your Instagram. I think that should you get. You could go follow. Here, let's do a cowbell, and then I think it needs a follow-up triangle. Oh. Let's just get the musical. The whole band. Let's get musical with it. There we go. It's like, it was weak. Uh, yeah, that was at the, the um, yep. met him at the Bardstown Bourbon Company. That's right. Yeah. For uh, the Scotch and Time Scotch slash and time, Bourbon and Time. Slash event. Bourbon and Time. Follow him on Instagram, Scotch, Scotch and Time. Or, and Whiskey Watches. And Whiskey Watches, yes, absolutely. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yes. So, no, I didn't see an age statement. And he told me, I can't remember now, oh, though. Oh, no, it's been... actually, it's right here. 18 months. Did... So, so you just let me know if you think it tastes like 18 months. I mean... It does not look like an 18 month. Like, so look not, how dark. It's not, you know, straight. Mm -mm. But close. Getting close to it. Yeah. Yeah. 92 proof? 92 uh, A complex combination of barley, wheat, corn, and rye. Aged to perfection in oak barrels that slightly tremble as thunderous trains... Thunderous trains <laughs> run the rails <laughs> beside our barrel house. That's interesting. Huh. Oh. I didn't know that. That's cool. Uh, Makes sense why there's a train on the front. Right. Uh, delivers robust notes of vanilla, maple, almond, and dark fruit with a hint of cinnamon. Hmm. I uh, will determine that. No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. No, the nose, I think, is really full and nice. Um, it's got a great color. I mean, you can you can definitely taste the, the corn. You know, you get the corn, corn. Corn forward, but... It also kind of puts a savory note out there. Like, I, I kind of immediately thought of some barbecue. Yeah, it does have... I think it pulls the char through. Yeah. I'm getting a little bit of, like, a cherry note. A little bit of a licorice note. Mm-hmm. Which I don't think... I don't remember. But I still think, like, if you blinded this to me, I would never be like, this is 18 months old. Sure. And I think it's I exciting, agree. like, seeing them do this. What will come next, you know? Yeah. I'd probably um, say under four years would be my guess. But what we got here? Yeah. Aaron says, Evan Williams single barrel over four rows of single barrel. Cheers, Chad. Wow. Mm. Making the statement. Discuss. Cheers to you. <laughs> I'll give you a two-all pick. <laughs> Evan Williams single barrel greater than four rows of single barrel. Discuss. Scotty says, uh, Metallica played music to their whiskey. Yeah, a lot of people yeah. are experimenting with how... You know, like vibrations from music or apparently train tracks or mm. other things can influence uh, how it's... Let's put it on a boat. Yeah. Like basically so motion roll it around. and vibrations. Yeah. How does that change the way that the liquid inside interacts with the barrel? Um, Just yell at it. A lot of experimenting. Will that make it sad though? <laughs> angry. What if you it's say like that nice angry orchard. To it? Don't they yell at yeah. their apples? And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Stupid apples. Stupid apples. You, You're never going to be anything good. You're never going to be an orange. You'll never be in a pie. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never be in an orange. You'll ne yeah. <laughs> Aren't you glad you're. An apple? <laughs> an apple. If you are, you're stupid. Well, that took a turn. It did. All right, William. Blanks Jr. says, Panama City, Florida says, hi. Well, hello, city. Thank you. Thank you, William. Kentucky says, hi. Oh, hello, all, everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, what are you guys drinking tonight? This is... Well, Justin's definitely... drinking Four Roses Single Barrel. Forever. 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 Uh, Dad's Hat Rye Whiskey from Pennsylvania. I have not had that one. I see it in the stores, but I have not, have not picked it mm. up yet. Yeah, yeah. Bourbon from space. Bourbon That'll from be the next space. thing. They put it on rocket ships, and how does anti gravity work? How does that? I don't think it would go in and out of the barrel with anti gravity. <laughs> how would that work? It would just be. It would just. It would just. Float, it would just float. Float around. I space mean, bourbon. Space bourbon. That the age. No, couldn't it be considered space bourbon because it left America? Well, so does Jefferson's, Jefferson's ocean. ocean. That's so true. That's... Ooh. Hmm. Intriguing. I never thought about that before. Yeah. I think you properly age it in America, then you send it to the moon. You know, finished on the moon. So to be, say it's a Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. And we were there first, so. Finished on the moon. We own it, right? Yeah. Yeah, we own the moon. The moon's American. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we made it up, right? You heard it here first. Yeah. It's an American moon. We, got a, we got a flag on there. Yeah. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's pretty good. Like you said, they... If this is what they're doing in 18 months, 
Like, right. If they put out like a bottled and bond, or at least just like a four year, or you know, four year older. Totally. Yeah. This is. Um, this is. And where they? Where are they out of? Um, that's a great question. I used to remember that, and now I can't. Oh, Kansas City, I think. Kansas City. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Should From say Kansas City. Here. Yes. Well. That's. Kansas. We, yeah, Kansas. But. Uh, Lenexa. Oh. I don't know. That's how you say that? That's weird. But right there. Lenexa. Lenexa. I think. Lenexa, Kansas. I don't know. Maybe we're wrong. If anyone's from Lenexa, Kansas, raise your hand. Rock twice. <sighs> oh yeah, not bad. Lenexa's right outside of Kansas <sighs> the City. Peanut butter stuff was so sweet. Yeah. It was an intense one. This is definitely a suburb of Kansas City. Oh, very cool. There you go. Thank you for the info. Mm hmm so now, for the rest of the show, we have some uh, some samples. Ooh. We can kind of possibly continue with the uh, outside of Kentucky motif that we just started with the uh, with the Union horse. Yes, with the rolling standard. We could go all the way to Hawaii and uh, have a Hawaii whiskey. Oh. So again, we're back to we're back to not bourbon. Um, I don't know why, because Hawaii is mm -hmm. part of the United States, well, but might have been other reasons why it's whiskey sure. instead of bourbon. Uh, but this was um, given to us by Carl, the Legend Ivy. I don't know if he's in the chat, um, but this is Old Polly. Old Polly. Poly, Old Polly Road Whiskey. Yeah. Batch one, 43%, so 86 proof uh, Hawaii whiskey. All right. Let's give it a shot. Mm -hmm. what we got. Shot. <laughs> Iron Room. Hmm. Ooh, look at that. Whoa. Whoa. It's light. It is. No age information on there. I'm going to go a little lighter on the pours because I also have a 6 a.m. flight tomorrow. So. <laughs> but uh, 86 proof. Interesting. Okay. 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 Very light, sweet, delicate nose. Yeah, it's definitely sweet. See ya, see ya, Swan. A little banana peely. And thanks for like... hanging out, especially oh, yesterday. Thanks, Swan. Hey, that ain't bad. No, it's super easy, and it has just a little. It has that sweetness and that barrel note. Mm -hmm. Very, very delicate. Um, but like totally an easy drinker. Like if it's hot, as hot as it is right now outside, mm -hmm. like. Pretty solid. Yeah. Choice for something that's just, it's whiskey, but it's a lot easier. It's not giving me like an immediate hug or anything. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Greg TS says, hello Greg there. TS. Gonna open my redemption weeded. Ooh, nice. cheers to that. Thank you for that. Has anyone else ever heard of or had this? <laughs> I mean, batch one. Batch that, one. That would be like crazy if someone's like, like yeah one person I've got yeah. some right here <clears throat> yeah i mean it tastes tastes like bourbon it's it has the bourbon it's profile. very easy yeah like if proof. i were trying to get someone to like whiskey in general mm -hmm. it's just sweet it's got a little almond little mm -hmm. barrel yeah really approachable a little bit of spice once you've had I'm not going to lie. Sips. When I saw this go in the glass, I was like, mm. <laughs> yeah. but you know what? I should know better. I should know to trust Carl. You should. He hasn't steered me wrong yet. He introduced no. us to the Bellmean cast strength. Sure did. That stuff's amazing. What a kind sir. Mm. Yeah, not bad. It's not bad. I'd recommend it. I mean, I don't know the price or anything like that, but it's interesting. Glad to have a sample of it. I would drink more. Mm -hmm. Drink more Hawaii whiskey. Drink more whiskey. Yeah. That was nice. I Just a concur. good change of pace. Like, it's kind of the opposite end of the spectrum from our, like, love of barrel proofs and stuff. Yeah. But that doesn't really work for me so well in the summer anyways. Like, on a day like yesterday when it was almost 105 heat index, this would be perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. It was a hot one yesterday. Uh-huh. <clears throat> What's no. next? Well, 
I've got three barrel bourbons. Oh, okay. I do like these. Uh, so these are actually some of the first samples that were given to us. Uh, and these are our, all, all three from Monty. Monty in Texas. In Texas. On Instagram there, Monty Wisenheim. Um, so it's like, why, why, why have we been holding on to these for so long? For, well, you know. Just such an occasion. Yeah, just for this occasion. <laughs> so we have uh, Barrel Bourbon Batch Number 9, which is a 13-year. We have Barrel Bourbon Batch 11, which is a 6-year. And then Barrel Bourbon Batch 12, which is another 9-year. Hmm. And we are 112 proof, 114, 108. So we want to start with the lowest Yeah, batch. let's start with the lowest. Okay, so this is the 13-year. Ooh. Hello. Oh, do I need to start working on these too while you do that? Nah, they're pretty no. easy. <laughs> they're low maintenance. So what's everyone's thoughts on barrel bourbon? I know there's there's usually like a certain batch number that gets everyone um, I don't know. You'll have to do it. excited. Uh, I may have given here. Yeah. Mark wants to know, how do I send you a sample of my bourbon, St. Liberty? You can email us at itsbourbonite at gmail.com and we can tell you all about where you can send that. We would love to try it. We're always looking to try something new. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, 112.1 proof. Um, again, batch number nine. It's bottle 5,081, if, if that matters to anyone. Hmm. 13 year old. If that's your lucky number. Yeah, if that's, an if that's what you're choice. into. <laughs> Oh, yeah, dovetail. A lot of people are are big about the oh yeah the dovetail for mm -hmm. sure. That's a that's an what interesting kind that? of bread yeah. bready baking bread type of smell. Hmm, like light bread, light light rye, whole wheat bread. Whole wheat, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. of, of several grains, if you will. Hmm. How many grains exactly are you picking up? Oh, whoa, that, whoa. Different than the nose. I don't know if I was surprised by it or you or both. <laughs> <laughs> batch number nine. Why was that ringing some bells? Were people really on about that one or was it batch 11? 11's ringing some bells. It's hard to remember. It is. It's hard for me to recall things from 2018. <laughs> it's just hard for me that to was recall last year. things. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Where can you buy this shirt? Barrett wants to know. Well, first of all, thanks for the super chat. Thank you. And this shirt is from, this shirt is My Kentucky Tea, right? Yes. Yeah, MyKentuckyTea.com. Mm -hmm. um, they do they do like a monthly subscription for shirts, but I think that they have like a catalog of their shirts that they've previously put out that you can purchase without doing the subscription. So mm -hmm. I do love the shirt. Almost every time I wear it, I get asked about it. It's so. true, yeah. You have mm -hmm. one too. I like That's it. It's sure. very soft also. Yeah. It does good. Yeah, wow. The I mean, 112.1 proof, 13 year. But wow, what a what a palette. I don't even know what to say. It has a lot of character. You know what it kind of reminds me of? There's a net. It doesn't remind me of a gnat. It reminds me of, we had some Boone County 12 year last night. That was mm -hmm. uh, a pick, mm. a bourbon and rye. Fantastic, just ask Trevor Wilson about it. Um, hey, thanks Jose for the, the link. Uh, that's that's to our shop. Where you can also buy shirts. Where you can also, you can buy this buy shirt. Buy that shirt. You can buy this shirt there. Uh, and that one at My Kentucky Tea. Um, but it kind of has that same, you know, Boone County uh, 1833. Boone County-esque is a, yeah, it's an MGP sourced mm -hmm. 12 year. This is a 13 year. Um, I wanna say that their stuff is, is it's either Tennessee whiskey, sometimes it's Kentucky bourbon. Uh, they obviously, they pull from different places, not a distilling producer. So this could maybe also be MGP, I don't know, but I'm kind of getting that feeling yeah. from last night of like, it's just like really deep and rich tasting and a lot of the barrel and like a like a dark kind of caramel. Um, I'm bad with my words tonight. <laughs> I'm just listening. I kind of zoned out listening to you. I'm kind of like, help me, I'm Sarah. Sure that, I'm sure that's entertaining, right? <laughs> Throw me a lifeline. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, it's like a good salted caramel, mm -hmm. pretty rich. Todd Koopa agrees. Uh, those Boone County picks are fantastic. Yeah. Trev Wilson can, in fact, confirm that it was delicious. It's pretty, like, it's got a nice silky, a little luxurious mm -hmm. feeling. Yeah. It's it nice. Does. It does. Luxurious. Luxurious. What was, know. what was, oh, decadent. That was, no, it wasn't decadent. What was the word like that, that I used for Rock Hill Farms that I said I hadn't used before? Trivia. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, scrumptious. 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 And now you said, I already forgot what you said. Luxurious. Luxurious. You don't like it when things are described as decadent. I Because it's such a cop out. I do. Yeah, I think that it's like everyone always describes their like $3 chocolates as decadent. And I'm like, mm, it seems like a misuse of that word. <laughs> you know? Yeah. If you have to say that, it's probably not. Yeah. And I don't like it because everyone describes their chocolate that way. And it's just annoying to me. Words are hard. You, you know, Chad, it does have an exceptional mouthfeel. Uh, what did you say? It's got a, it does, it's it got, does. Yeah, it's pretty pretty, yeah. pretty exceptional. I'll allow it. Um, Alan, just so you know, wearing my It's Bourbon Night shirt and drinking my Elijah Craig small batch in your Drink More Bourbon glass, which we Yay. oddly don't have any out here tonight. They're all Bourbon Night glasses. Oh, well. But that's what we washed. It's, it's scrum diddly umptious. Nice. Flanders. I, uh, I got You're it. You're aware. Thank you. You're aware, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no explanation required. All right. Let's see. I ho I'm hoping we're not too, um, too like, subdued in energy. I feel like we're a little bit more... I'm a little lower hey, today. It's bourbon night. It's like you're listening to The Quiet Storm on 98.4. The Quiet Storm. <laughs> you could totally be a radio personality <laughs> if you use that. In voice. like the eighties, sure, I don't sure. think it would fly anymore. But no, probably not. Maybe the nineties. Um, plus, who listens to the radio? No one, unless it's on the internet. But radio on the internet—that's <laughs> crazy. We're watching uh, Silicon Valley. Rewatching the first. I, I dropped out somewhere in season two. Um, I just started watching it when you picked it up. Yeah, so now I'm to the part where I'm seeing new episodes, and it's really good. Uh, I couldn't get it open. I tried, and then it didn't work, so. <laughs> so you gave up. So I gave up. It would be It's Bourbon Night After Dark. Did you find the pointed out. perforation? I did, but I my fingernails, I couldn't my get it. My fingernails. Couldn't get it. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, It's Bourbon Night After Dark. Um, yeah, well, okay, yeah. Trey Wilson had to drive. All the way back after last night's What a trooper. Yeah, trooper. Actually, Quite a drive. Didn't realize he was driving back last night. I thought... No, I thought he was driving back this... He's driving back today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not last night. Right, right, right. Okay. That yeah. would be crazy. That would be crazy. <gasps> no, Barrett says the shirt's out of stock. Well, I bet it will come back in stock because it's... From what I understand, it's pretty popular. So just keep an yeah. eye out. Mm-hmm. I'll let them know that... We know a guy. Yeah. That, um... There is some demand. Um, all right, so this is barrel bourbon batch number 11. Doesn't matter what the bottle is, but it's six year. It's 114.8 proof. So we went down from 13 to six, but we went up a little bit in proof. Huh. So let's see what we got. Oh, that's musty. Totally different than the one we just had. Maybe a bit nutty? In that crushed particulate yeah. Texas Roadhouse nuttiness that we sometimes describe. Gonna do the roll method. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, right? Yeah. It looks ridiculous. No, it makes me busy. <laughs> yeah. Three blast method? Huff method? Yeah, <laughs> three blast method. I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. Did you coin that? Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, that's a Chad. Ooh. Wow. Packs hey. Good punch. It is nutty. It's a little nutty. Yeah. Oh, this is Beam-esque. Yeah. There's like this extra sweet thing going on on the finish that I'm... Um, it's all up front on the tongue. I'm just... I'm just okay with it. I need another Tell sip. Tell us about it. I need another sip. I don't know. Use your words. Hey, Jeff Winbush. Thank you for the super chat, sir. <laughs> For that. 
Um, yes, Jeff. It's got a good finish though. And I don't know if I can tall, tall it. Words, words are tough. I don't know if I can call it a Kentucky hug because I don't know if it is. You hear that? Yeah. What was that? I don't know. It's like a like really high pitched noise. Like a dog whistle, but something that we could hear. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Weird. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Doesn't matter. Jose, hashtag beam nutty. Our nutty squad team leader, Jose, and, uh, and moderator. Yes, thank you to all of our yes. moderators for joining us in the chat this evening. And I already saw booting somebody out for apparently saying that I was supposed to have their babies. I don't really know what else they said. I, I think, think that was the tamest of remarks. I didn't catch all of it. That means that they were on it because they, they were gone doing an so fast. an amazing modding job. Good job. Modded his butt out of here. I like it. Squirrel. Okay. Squirrel. Just Jose says squirrel. N nutty. Oh, okay. I wasn't <laughs> making the connection. Like, did he see a squirrel? You know. Is he excited? Is he like that dog from Up? I think even your small pores are still... A little too much for me today. Uh, well, that's okay. You don't you don't have to finish it. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I don't think I can. Yeah, Trev is our security guard. That's awesome. <laughs> My only request is that next time he brings his captain's hat. Mm-hmm. And then I'll have mine. And then you guys will be a team. It'll be funny. We'll be a team. It'll be great. Which one do you like better between the two? We're, we've got seven-year difference between them and only about two per points. That's really tough. They just... There's each have their own each personality. Have their, yeah, the strong yeah. points, right? I think I like um, the first one we tried better. Really? Yeah, just because this one's got a little bit more of like a syrupy sweetness to it. That's man. I I'm, don't know if like I'm automatically turned right. off by the sweetness because of this the one. peanut butter whiskey that we had at I'm first. Good. Yeah. Oh well, whichever. Yeah, this was the first one. Then I like this one. Okay. I just can't. I mean, the the for just two proof points higher it. Seems like it's more. It's giving me more of a hug, um, and that nuttiness. Come on, it's it's everything I wanted in Screwball. <laughs> but what were you expecting? Not much. You don't want to I know. had lowered expectations. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. Josh wants to know: Have we thought about creating a podcast? We actually funny you should mention do a podcast. We have a uh, a Patreon only podcast. It's called the Drink More Bourbon Podcast, and um, you can listen to it for. I mean, our lowest pledge is a dollar, yeah, and that gets you access to the Drink More Bourbon Podcast. Um, it's true. And actually, right now I'm working on having it in an RSS feed that only patrons can see. So that oh. way you could actually listen to it on your favorite podcast app. that's cool apparently that's a thing i'm doing some research into it so that'll be cool i did not know <laughs> jeremy jones says bought some knob creek single barrel based on it winning your blind test first 120 proof that kick will take some getting used to loving the channel ah uh, well thank Thanks, you jeremy. appreciate it and um that's a, a ca where 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 are you where do you herald from where are you from where are you from where are you at i feel like we've asked that before Absolutely. But we're always drinking, so I can never remember. Can't blame us. Yeah, if, it, if we don't write it down, it's, you know, sometimes it's... Hence the writing... The writing it down of the uh, shout-outs, yes. Jamie. Canada, duh. Oh, see And I think last time that was our reaction to, Canada. duh. Canada, huh? Blame Canada. Blame uh, Robot Canada. Scott, hello. Wants to know if we're having a meetup in Austin. Yes, I'm working on that. Um, I think that we'll do kind of a repeat of last year. I love Nickel City. Yeah. So if they'll have us back, I would love to do a Sunday afternoon meetup at Nickel City mm -hmm. um, in Austin. It was great. We had some lovely pours. Lovely pours. And they had some good snacks. So I yeah. think that that's where we should go. And there were lots of dogs. Mm -hmm. So everything that makes me happy. Well, I think that was because they snacks, were... Snacks, dogs, good bourbon. They were having like a dog thing. They though. were having a dog thing, but they're dog friendly anyway. They're so. dog friendly. That's what you're looking for. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, Mm, yeah. Do you want to just rinse out one of mine? Sure. Okay. We are moving on to Barrel of Bourbon, batch number 12. This is a nine year. And it is 108.5. So this is our lowest proof. Again, little shout out to the Scotch Test Dummies. They're on YouTube since I uh, pulled up this. 
adorable little shot glass adorable. here with uh, their. Uh, I love, like, I really lo loved the uh, crash test dummies, like the commercials oh, to yeah? tell people to buckle up. Did you know that they even had toys back then? They, I didn't know that. They had a car that, if you ran into it, I th like the hood, you know, would would flip up into like a crushed hood, and. I think something of theirs like popped off or something. That's so something, interesting. Something like that. I really like the Crash Test Dummies. Um, not so much the band. They have that one good song, right? That one. Crash Test Dummies. Mm, I can't do the melody, but it's like really low. I think that was the Crash Test Dummies. But anyway, Sky Test Dummies. Going off of that Crash Test Dummies. Um, I iconography, I guess. Yeah. There on this little shot glass. Um, you can visit their store. Uh, just Google Scotch Test Dummies and it'll come up. So there you go. There you go. Good guys. Yes, very good. They will be in Scott Austin too. and Bart. Yeah. Yep. We love them. Uh, someone asked. Daggone. Butch I, asked. I did it again. It's okay. I pour. I'll just give you the less. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, asked if we would ever be close to Arkansas. We know not to call it Arkansas. Yes, we did. We did learn that. Thanks. Um, Trevor. Uh, yeah, Trev's from there. He told us don't do that, so we don't do that. Um, oh. Whoa, what happened? Nothing. It's okay. Ch chill. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there would ever be anything that would take us out there. Um, <laughs> there's, there's nothing in Arkansas. No, I'm just not sure, like, bourbon-wise, whiskey-wise, we don't have an event that we... Oh my gosh, you're going to knock all this over just trying to get that nap. Well, yeah, probably. Don't worry. It's okay. okay. Keep All going. Right, fine. It's the things on the laptop happening. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, is there like a Arkansas bourbon festival or? Yeah, tell us something, about something. Something. Then, in that case, then yeah, we might. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey well, what? We back? I think we're here. Tell okay. us, are you seeing any errors on your end? I think we're good. Um,. <gasps> Yes, we're good. Oh, Mike. Yeah. Y'all are great, but not so sure about that peanut butter whiskey. Neither am I. Neither, neither are um, we. Lots of love from Western Kentucky. Oh, thank you. LOL from Western Kentucky. <laughs> 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 lots of love. Hmm. <sighs> so again, this no is... No issues. Okay. Yeah, it was just on our, just on our side. Um... Yeah, a nine year, 108.5 proof. This is batch number 12. I feel like it's the most subdued. Hmm. I mean, yeah, it's the lowest proof. Is nine year, though. Around here? No. Hmm. It's no. okay. Right. Why? What you want to write down? Nothing. How do you think we will finish the peanut butter whiskey? Uh, I think we're gonna try it in a, in a in a cocktail. I mean, I would like to make the Nutty Squad cocktail eventually, or something, you know. A Nutty Squad cocktail? Oh, yeah. yeah. How sweet. You remember that? <laughs> That's Do you remember that just time? Sweet. So I got this. Uh, I guess you would call it a little sieve, right? Oh, gosh. You might do like conf confectionery sugar. Yeah, sieving. like basically, like a, you know, you flour goes through it and makes it. Yeah, it's a funnel. Finer. It's a funnel, but it's it's all. Um, mesh right yeah real tight mesh so uh i was like i'm i got a smart idea i'm a genius so i smeared peanut butter over the sieve set it on top of a rocks glass and poured peanut butter or poured peanut butter poured bourbon which then like caught in the peanut butter into and the slowly. sieve and it slowly started to drip through and he was infusing his own ah i was in i was making my own Peanut he butter was cocktail. So excited. That actually tasted pretty good, I gotta say. I liked it. Mm hmm. It was good. Yeah, I don't believe that. Uh, the, so, the, okay, they did have one last year, Ooh, but nothing of the my caliber favorite one. That, uh, that we're used to. We do have Rocktown Distillery. Not Rocktown. Oh, much here. Okay. Well, I don't know. We might. We might. We're always looking for reasons to go, you know places when we can when we can we can't obviously thing. go everywhere yeah we have to prioritize and pick and choose some of us have you know well i have vacation a tighter vacation schedule i guess sure 
Um, sure, sure, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Now, what did you say? Did you say you like this the best? I think, yeah, I think I like this really? one the best. Really? Really? I think I like it the least. How about that? How about I don't that know. For you? It's just, I mean, I, what's, I like what's, them all. what's coming, what's coming forward? I just think it's one? nice and easy. I don't know. Maybe I'm just in that mood today. Like it's. Oh yeah, you're looking for nothing. But it's hot though. Too aggravating. Nothing too. Yeah, it's hot though. Hmm. Too. It's yeah, good. So it's, it's a little hot, but I don't know. I'm just not. But, nothing's really jutting out on this one. Too much for me. Bill asked, "When's the wedding?" That's funny. You should mention that, Bill. It's two months from today. It's in. It's in September. I'll just say that. Well, I, I just said. Well, yeah, but math. Yeah. Wait, other people can do math. Dag on it. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's in Bourbon Heritage Month, of course. Of course it's in Bourbon Heritage Month. <laughs> uh, Ooh, that was hot. It got me. Andrew says, I'm going to Portland, Oregon next week from Canada. Any whiskey or distillery recommendations? Oregon. I have no idea. Oregon. But hopefully someone in the chat uh, I feel like we've had can. something from Oregon before, but I can't remember now. Speaking of Canada, sneakers, sneakers and, and scotch. scotch, which sounds really interesting. Cheers, love the channel. Thank you for that super chat. Greetings, not from Canada, to Canada. Yes, greetings to Canada. <laughs> greetings to Canada, from Kentucky. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm seeing if anyone has any recommendations for up there. Uh, Oregon Spirit Freeland. Okay. Freeland, I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah, Westland. Westland. Hmm. I don't know. Westworld. We could recommend that. Netflix. There you no. Go. HBO. HBO, sorry. It's okay, you tried. It's not TV, it's HBO. Isn't that their slogan? Maybe when it first came out. They know drama? No, it's TNT. <laughs> He's good with the slogans. He likes to hang on to those. You gotta, you gotta hang on to those. <clears throat> Westland. Mm -hmm. Westland. Hmm. Kirk asks, will the wedding be live streamed? We have decided not to do that. Right. Um, the, but we'll, we'll make a video compilation of events afterwards and, you know, I don't know. Chad will decide. Um, I got to show you this while we're on the topic in front of the internet. Uh, so, you know, uh, Pomplamoose? Yeah. Um, so the guy who runs Patreon and Natalie, I forget your last name. Um, so they got married. Like for years, I was like, he what? runs Patreon, but they also have a band. They have a band. Just for context. They have a band called Pomplamoose. Which also means grapefruit. It means grapefruit in French. Um, let's go ahead and super chat it. All right. Bag Joey of Bag of Donuts, I want to say. Uh, cheers with uh, Barrel Bourbon Batch 19, 109.4 proof. Yeah, I was thinking these were older. I mean, we've had these samples from Monty for a while. Yes. That's awesome. Thank you bag of donuts so pomplamoose pomplamoose um so jack conti there's the name ceo of patreon but also um part of the band pomplamoose and natalie doesn't matter um they every instrument that is played in a song would be represented in this video right so if something's making a snap they show what you know, yeah all that all that jazz they've gotten pretty big um but for years, I was like, what is the relationship? Are, are they just friends? Are they dating? Are they married? What? What's the deal? Because they never let on nothing. And then all of a sudden, one day, they were like, hey, we got married. And we're like, oh, okay, well, there you go. <laughs> but then, anyway, long story short, eventually they released their wedding video, which was more like kind of a uh, music video style type, mm -hmm. of, type of thing. And it was really, like, got to admit, it was really touching. Oh, yeah? Right there. You liked it? I liked it. Okay, so well, we'll, we we'll should, talk about we that. We check it out. We okay. check it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you guys should do a show right before the wedding so uh, patrons and others can contribute. Well, that Aww. would be super awesome. And yeah. We might we'll have to think about some... that because we won't be doing one that Sunday. Right. I mean, there will be a the last live before the wedding. That's obviously. true. Obviously. Yeah. So mm -hmm. maybe we'll try to... Our last live is single, so we'll do some single barrels. <laughs> oh, snap. Yep. I just came up with that on the spot. And then we'll do some small batches because we are, we you will blended, be. You blended. We will, well, they actually call it, we marry barrels together to make a small batch. What a good idea so we'll do some that single we just barrels, had. And we'll do some small batches. Then yeah. we'll do shots. No. No, <laughs> no we want two shots. <laughs> um, 
Fatal yeah. Flaw asks, do we have bourbons picked out for the wedding? Yeah, we're picking some stuff. We'll mm -hmm. have some of our Knob Creek barrel pick there, um, which is yeah. going to be in at the end of this month or in the next few weeks, hopefully. Um, hopefully, yeah. And then we've, we're kind of curating our own little whiskey bar, so mm -hmm. it'll be good. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, actually, Swan, who you know, left the chat, but he's he's helped us with some uh, older Wild Turkey 101s, you know, just like from the from the 2000s, but like, you know, 2013, 2014, Wild Turkey 101. It just, it it's did, tasty. It tastes just a little different from modern day. Um, OGD versus OWA. I gotta think what OWA is again. Oh, well, oh, well Antique. Oh, well Antique. I mean, 107 proof versus the 114, I know, but there's just something... I don't know. I'm saying Jim Beam versus Buffalo Trace, but I got to give it to the old Weller Antique. Yeah. Or, sorry. It's just Weller Antique now. So, W-A. Yeah. W-A-107. W -A How about that for the for the new abbreviation? There you go. They took the old off the label. I uh, hope everyone appreciates Chad's Mad TV reference, Lord Expectations. I hoped some people got I that. I didn't get that one. Really? Nope. Well. Um... Barrel Strengths Gentleman wants to know, any reason why you use the exceptional mouthfeel of Skip's Best Burger rather than the exquisite mouthfeel of Bob's Best Burger? Just wondered. I'm really glad you asked that because when I went searching for it, I, I found the exquisite mouthfeel. I'm like, no, that's not how I remember it. It's really just how I remembered it. And I'm like, did I miss mess this up? And I've I been also, saying exceptional when yeah. it's really been exquisite. But then, but then, the then I went and watched the episode. I'm like, oh, the second time he says exceptional. So, you know, my mind was made up. I'm like, it's exceptional. Right. Plus, exquisite mouthfeel just... It just doesn't quite have that ring to it. I don't it. like how it feels in my mouth. No, not good. I don't like how it rolls off the tongue. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Out of here with OGD BIB. Nice. Yeah. Very good. That is the, the old granddad stuff. is 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 yeah is some is some good stuff. So I think for the rest of the show because we have a little bit of time left, we're just gonna take some questions. I think you know we we're we're probably good here. I'm good. I mean I could I could probably get something. It won't be that screwball, that's for sure. I'm gonna, Let's do. We'll do one more question. I'm gonna do my winner, which was actually this one. Barrel, or sorry, batch eleven, which still. For some reason in my head, I think that that was just one that was, like, sought after. Hmm. Maybe I'm just crazy. Probably. All right, last question. Last question, okay. Derek asks, how do you feel about the new seven-year Heaven Hill bottled bond price at $45? Mm. I think that's a great question. Um, I feel, one, sad that the Heaven Hill six-year bottled bond is no longer available. And that price, but let's be real, it was unrealistic the way the market's going to expect there to be a six year old bottled and bond of that quality and that taste to stay available for like under $14. Some places it was even like $12 yeah. for the long term, especially when they've got to, they got to make money and they people want higher age stuff. So that six year could be going to something else. Yeah. Instead, you're just selling it for that. As a consumer, I'm very sad to see it go, but as someone who, I don't know, we're somewhat a part of the industry. Like I understand. It makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. And I still um, don't think that forty-five dollars is super ridiculous. Like, it's not like they took it and made it seventy. Right. Well, yeah. But when you I consider mean, what you can get other bottled bond well, products for, I think there's a precedent against that. Because look what happened with Booker's when they said it was going from fifty to hundred. People were like, "I'll never buy a bottle of Booker's again." And there's still some of that backlash, even though it never went to a hundred. Yeah. It's like seventy. Uh, or some places it's like sixty-two. Yeah. Which is, I still say, a deal. Um, so I think they, it's like what Buffalo Trace has done with the new Weller products. So they have the green label, the special reserve, the antique in the 12 year. They realize what they have. There's demand for it. They go for so much more in the secondary, but they know they can't just take it from what they're selling it to, to what they want to sell it to, which I'm sure is probably double or triple the mm -hmm. price. So they start introducing new labels like the CYPB, the Craft right. Your Perfect Bourbon. Now the, um, full, uh, the full, proof. Uh, full proof, things like that, to be like, all right, we still have to keep those the same price, I guess. They're incrementally creeping up, though. But let's release the CYPB, and it'll be $40, where a Weller 12-year is like 27 mm -hmm. So this is kind of like another way of doing it. Let's take it off the market. It was Kentucky only. Now it's not. Now it's not even available in Kentucky first. 
I have a little issue with that. Yeah, like but we want to uncork it. Yeah, but now we can't. now we can charge what we want to charge. It's got a new label, a new bottle, and it's a year older. I'm reserving my judgment until I taste it. True. Yeah. yeah. I'm open to it. I understand why yeah. they had to do it. We'll see. Yeah, for sure. For yeah, sure. I mean, we love Heaven Hill. That's, it's true. That's that's, that's a I don't anticipate that it will be anything but delicious. True. I just Yeah. You know, Absolutely. We'll and also, you can't just say it only went up one year because one, we know the age isn't everything. And two, they could also be pulling it for more choice spots in the warehouse. So yeah, it could be a much more mature mature tasting or uh, developed tasting, complex tasting seven year than the maybe the six years they're pulling exclusively just from like the first level or something where they don't mm -hmm. get as much, you know, as much extraction to the wood and so forth. So, so we'll see. That was a good last question. That was. That that took us up to the up to the up wire to the here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um that will do it for us. I uh, just want to mention again whiskeyambitions.com is our place on the internet. Things like this, things like this. Things, things like, like this. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Suburbanite, where you can go find those podcasts, uh, $1 yeah. a month, and yeah. other things. Uh, Ooh, join in the community. Challenge coins coming soon. They coming are soon. ordered. They are ordered. Um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah. There you have it. That's our I, things. I didn't get up, Joseph. You are correct. Sorry. I was getting up a lot before it started, because I was resetting. You can't do it all in every episode. I was resetting the internet. I guess I'm just tired and didn't want to stand up. Yep. <clears throat> Sorry. But I said nutty a lot. So. You did. All right, we, cool. You did make sure to do that. Yeah. Well, thanks so much, guys. This was a lot of fun. We will see you next Sunday at the same time. Thanks, Sarah. I won't see you next Sunday because I'll be at my bachelorette party, but you'll see them. Uh, so I'll see you the Sunday after that. Thank you, Chad. <laughs> uh, Perry will be our uh, guest host. So he will be in the seat next week. So tune in to the Chad and Perry show next week. <laughs> see you all later. Great hanging out as always. Until then, drink more bourbon.